Randy for Thunder Horse Descendant. I'm here today with the soft flex doings. Let's get down to the mat, get this party started. All right, party people, here we are down on the mat. We are working with the uh, Exotic Blooms Mystery Design Kit from Softflex. Uh, if you want to grab one up, here is their web address. Uh, they still have some online currently. I will also put this in the description of the video. Um, so, Softlex did send this to me. I'm super excited to see what it has to offer this month. We actually just got done with um, rainy day, so right on time. So it's nighttime. I'm having a little coffee. <laughs> and we're going to jump into this. So this beading kit is $34.95. And it's supposed to include everything you need to make some doings. So let's just jump into it. There's been quite a few, I think, unboxings already. So we're just going to jump right in. I did not see any of them, but I'm really liking this paper. This color. And we shall see what we got going on. Oh, colors. I love me some colors. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Let's start here. Let's zoom in. Let's just take these one at a time. All right. We have white quartz color, medium soft flex painting wire. So there we go. We have that. This is 49 strand. It is 10 feet in the medium. So it's white. Then we have a couple of little strands here. Some little check glass rondelles in green. Those are quite cute. We have a shell flower pendant. So this is a shell. You know, I've been quite into shells recently, so I'm pretty excited about that. Very cute. Oh, I've got a couple of little baggies of stuff. Let's see what they are. Oh, oh, these are loose. Oh boy, okay. We've got some seed beads that are loose in blue. Oh, 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 everything is loose. Okay, all right. Um, all right, let's just get these little ceramic pony beads out of the way. And these guys here, these look like dyed shell heishis. Okay. I do have a list, I'm just not using it because I like to make my life complicated. <laughs> I guess. Those are cute. I really do like these a lot. And then it looks like we also have some mother of pearl. These look to be probably like a four millimeter mother of pearl that is also dyed. And I'm just going to put them in their own cups so they don't get crazy and start running around on me. All right. So I didn't know those were open. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have dumped them all over. But here we are. There's a mother of pearl in here, too. Okay. And we've got our seed beads. Okay. 
Okay. All right, we've got that. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? We've got a little baggie of stuff. Let's zoom in. Got a little baggie of stuff. What is this? Okay, so these are like some little charms. As are these. These are looking very Tierra Casty in silver. They have some earring wires and a lobster. Put that over here. Of course, we have our um, size two crimp tubes. So that is what you're supposed to use with the um, medium soft flex, also in silver. And then we have exotic blooms, Jesse James beads design elements. So if you are unaware, you can only get these with um, Softlex's design kit. So these are specifically made for them uh, in correlation with Jesse James. So uh, exotic blooms. Oh, hey. Oh, no. I only got one. Well, <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> uh, so we do got some lucite flowers. I'm just giggling because we have a whole bunch of lucite flowers for next week. Um, anyways, so I could, probably, I could probably get one of them up out of the stash, I guess. Uh, tassels. These guys are quite cute. These are like little crystals. Oh. Crystally guys, very cute. I do like this colorway a lot. This one here, the pink and the orange. You know, it's one of my faves. Some little glass flowers, gonna make for some good stacking. Those are cute. I like this. Oh, hey, I got two of these. I got two of those. I could make some earrings. Look at me. I got these tangerine-looking orange ones. Some of these larger crystals, a little flower tassel. What is this, a disco ball? Oh, it's a link. A disco ball link, another flower tassel. Oh, okay, they got, oh, they're not as bendy as I would like. Uh, they got some filigree. I thought they were gonna be a little more bendy, but they're, they're not. These are good for um, stacking, right? And, uh, putting your flowers together with. But I only got one of these pink flowers, so I got I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um I got some more little filigrees in here. Got some orange miracle beads, some yellow crystals, uh pink pink glass drops. Those are kind of cute. I do like those. They're giving me uh candy vibes. Well regular Um, let's see. Where are these ones? These ones go over here. A couple of cubes, a couple of uh, sparkly rondelle spacers. Um, I only got one of the disco balls. I don't know if that's supposed to be how that goes. Usually they give pairs of things. But any hootie, so there we go. That's what we're looking at. So that's pretty cute. I really like that colorway. So here is the everything. It is very um, colorful, right? Very colorful, so there it is. Um, this is Exotic Bloom's Design Challenge Kit, and they are doing, from April 24th to May 27th, they are doing some, uh, it says post your pictures uh, in their group, the Softflex VIB Studio Facebook group with hashtag exotic and enter to win a future kit. So there you go. Okay guys, so we're gonna do it a little, we're gonna play it a little different this this today, right now. <laughs> I've only been on for nine minutes, so I'm like, hey, let me just let me just take a look here, what we're working with. 
I really like these flowers and these little guys and I could make earrings out of those those are so cute I like I like all this uh, very colorfulness that we have going on so I'm gonna I'm just gonna whip something up here I don't know what but we're just gonna go for it So this one I could probably use on a bracelet or something. I'm just going to create it. I don't know if I will use, um, I might make earrings out of those, so I'm put those to the side. But I'm going to take my Lucite flower and I'm going to start stacking up these filigree. See which way I want to go with it. Those are cute. I like those. I'll grab one of those mother of pearl. And I'm just going to go in through all this business here. A little cute super cute just gonna, we're just going for it today because why not so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this. I left kind of a long tail because I knew I could tighten up on it if I did. And now it's pretty tight. So there we go. We've got a little droppy drop. So that's super fun. We love that. Um, let's see what else we got. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I got it anyways. Nonetheless. Um, I think I may was maybe supposed to have another flower, but I didn't get one because I got two of these guys. Um, so I don't know about that. I'll put that one to the side for now. Um, I could wrap these guys up as well. Now, if we had a smaller drop, let me see what I want to do here. I'm going to do a couple of these seed beads, maybe like four. Let's see where that gets us. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. If I can get that one to bend. If I could, that'd be good. Let's 
So I'm just bending this in with my pliers. So I want to see how it looks inside this flower. Just kind of making it more of a little flower shape. And then I'm going to go in through the top here like that and then inside the flower that gives it a little bit more dimension but it's not really let's see if I can bend it a little more you wouldn't necessarily have to even put it in there but I'm going to because I've already got it going That's cute. Just do like that. I'm just gonna grab up a couple of these guys. Uh, let me do blue, teal blue. dark blue as well a little bit of orange <laughs> those are cute Love that for me. Those are cute. I'll just throw an earring wire on that. Let's make sure we got this the way we want it. Yeah. Okay, let's whip up the other one of those. So we have a yellow mother of pearl. We have four blue seed beads. We've got to prepare one of our little silver bead caps. on there and we'll go with the flower and then we gotta kind of bend that in there there we go and then we're gonna go with three teal One blue, dark blue, two of the red color, one yellow.
let's wrap that up. <laughs> those are cute. I really like those. Cute little earrings. Okay. We got this guy. I don't know what we're going to do with him quite yet. I kind of want to do those earrings on those. I think I like those pink drops, but I'm, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with that quite yet. So we'll start here. Let's do blue seed bead. Come here, blue seed bead. They're cute. Cute. I was going to do something else there, but I don't think I'm going to. I like this better. What am I doing with all of it? Not quite sure yet, but we're doing it nonetheless. I tuck this tail in. Super cute. Let's do another, shall we? Squish those down, flatten them with my finger. I don't know if that one's going to show. Let me see. Mm, not really. I'll put them in the back.
Got one more of these left. One little tail, not want to go in there. Okay, so I got four of those. And one big pink flower. We're on it. We're on it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Now we got this one silver flower left. <clears throat> Which we could probably put guys in there perhaps mm, it's not really showing off the other cap let me try a smaller bead showing off the other cap very good because it's they're the same color let me try to put a rhinestone on there see if that don't help me a little bit of dimension it does help with a little bit of dimension anyway okay we'll go with that Okay, now <clears throat> we have these flowers and these little tassels, which I think hung together could be fine. could be also fine. This guy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that.
Just don't know how I feel about it is all. helping me the way I need it to. So, these are all silver in here. I'm going into my stash drawer here and I'm going to get out a few bead caps. These are just filigree bead caps. And if you pull them out like this, they look like flowers. So you can have flower buds or you can have full on blooms. It's up to you. I think I'll put one of these in the back just for fun days.
Okay, we're still wrapping. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the wrapping zone right now. I think those can go over here. And I think these little pink guys, I'm just gonna wrap these for drops. Drops are always cute inside stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna do little drops on these. Maybe I'll put these little squares. No. Um, I think these will just wrap by themselves, these little fireballs or whatever you call them. I do, I wish I had more of these in my stash up here. I don't know if I do. Oh, but I have these. Sorry. I know I'm adding some things from my stash, but it has to be done. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. I have these guys. Now, we had the, we used these when we used our mushrooms. These are going to be super cute. We use them like stems for the flower. Okay. So for this guy, I think these are smaller than the ones Jesse James has provided. Let me see. Yes. So I'm, for these drops, I am going to use these smaller ones because it does need a little bit of something. I don't like it when my drops look like people. And sometimes they look like people. <laughs> I'm not really in love with this either. So I'm going to take it off. I'm just going to leave the drop as it is by itself. I'm just not in love with it. Ooh lost a crystal. I'm just not in love with it the way that it, it was going. Oh, what in the world's up with that? These have a large hole in them? How come this one didn't go through? Oh, dog. Um, <laughs> um, I guess we'll go, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. This one fits. Drops.
I lost the other part of my fireball. It went flying somewhere. 
I'm gonna have to do another one. <sighs> okay, so if you've never destructed a fireball before, these ones, you can take them apart. They are still connected on two ends. You just have to bend them up. Okay. And then you have to cut the tube in the middle. So the thing about cutting the tube in the middle is then you end up, it still doesn't, it's like, um, it's almost like a rivet. So you have to cut on the other side of the rivet and be very careful not to cut the part you want. Now you do have to take your awl or something pokey deal and poke through there without injuring yourself to get that little piece of metal out of there. And then it'll come out. It's like the other half of the rivet. So if you got a little, this is a vintage awl. If you've got one of these, they fit in there perfectly. And this one I didn't get all the way. So now I have two of them. So I put them on there face down. And these ones are kind of fun because you can use these big, like these bigger crystals. Do I use a red one already? No. You can use these bigger crystals and then once you get it on there you can fold it down over the top if you want to a little bit like that it's up to you i do wish that i had another one to stick in here to give this a little bit more depth underneath um i don't think i do though i don't think i have any well i have filigree I have bronze filigree up here, but, well, maybe I can get away with using one of these guys. These, these are also come from Jesse James as well. You might have some rolling around in your stash. Yeah, that's at least giving it a little bit of something. You see uh, a little bit more details. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. I just figured you guys might want to see a little something today. I know it feels like sometimes when the unboxings and stuff come out, it's just like, it's like, yeah, everybody's unboxing, but they're, you know, what, you, unless you really like to see 18 unboxings, I was just like, how about some stuff? That's just me. 
Just me. Okay, I'm going to pull this down a little bit just to get a little bit more. So it's a little different from the other ones. Woot. Still slight little tail here. There we go. So this is what this one looks like. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm still in the upstairs. Super cute. Okay, we do have some more fireballs. Oh, I have one ready to go. Okay, I have one ready to go, so I'll do one more of these. Let's see what I want to do with this one. Maybe I'll put a bead on this one. Do purple. Why not? Why not purple? And I don't know. I like that. I'll do one of these little yellow guys. No. No, 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 no. How about one of these, one of these yellow guys? And one of them stars. like this top one. Oh, that one. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, these pink drops. Just gonna wear up those some more. Um, these little guys, I'm just going to wire wrap those up as well for drops because levels are important to me. To me, levels are important. Okay, I have one odd man out and one odd man out for this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize those. I'll take apart one more of these fireballs and make a couple more flowers with that. And then these others I'll probably... I have a vague idea of what I want to do with all these flowers. I'm not going to do it tonight because... I've had quite the day, and as you can see, I really hurt my finger. Well, maybe you didn't see this yet, but I was recording a video, and I I was doing a um, stainless steel jump ring, 
and it was a really thick keychain one and I slipped and I went in with my other plier yeah and it's not so much like I cut myself but like it's really swollen and that was today so it's a little bit oh it's a work-related injury <laughs> it's a little bit of a work-related injury um, but also because it's really late at night time and I I just am going to um, watch some TV and relax a little hot minute before tomorrow comes. But I'll make two more flowers here. Okay, I said I was going to use... Jeez, I hope I have more of these on the website. Three inch... All head bins. I hope I do. I hope I do. Okay, this guy. Uh, I said I was going to use one of these red ones. Right. Somebody's texting me. It's probably Jefferson. Hmm. Let's do more like a bloom with this big one. Put a stem on this one because layers are important. <laughs> okay, he's pretty cute. Not even gonna lie to you. Okay, one more with this guy. And this out of, out of out of the norm yellow one. Oh, put a sparkly one in there. Does that work? Eh, no. Not in love with it.
right, guys. I think that is what I'm going to do for tonight. Now, I do have like a semi kind of idea in my head, of course, per usual. <laughs> when I opened the box, I was just like, oh, yeah, got it. Um, how's that going to work out? I haven't quite got the logistics of all that down yet, but in my head, it looks a little something like this. So this is the focal piece. And then these, of course, would be all wrapped, right? These are already wrapped because we wrapped them all. So I don't know. I want this to be asymmetrical, right? We got this guy hanging down. This guy hanging down over here. We got these hanging down bits. Here and here. This one's this one's got to be like in the middle or something. That's kind of because it's the only one. So we're stacking, we're layering, we're stacking. Here's some of my other drops. We're stacking, we're stacking. These guys come in over here. Uh, a little bit of chain, perhaps. Maybe one of these guys, I don't know. A little bit of chain. And then we got our tassels, which we're also going to incorporate. Kabam, kabam, kabam. Together, I think they'll look nice. We also have these metal guys. So, I want this to look like a bouquet of flowers, obviously, that has been bunched together. Um, these are all... These here. Actually, um, I'm going to use these orange to kind of color code it in. We'll use these green ones as part of... Oh, you can't see. Um, we'll use these green ones as part of the necklace portion, right? Or you could just go silver chain, to be quite honest. Um, we really do need some leaves. I don't know if I'm going to use these. I might use these, but I don't know for sure if I'm going to. Um, here is the earrings we already made. Super cute. So that's what it looks like in my head. I think, you know, to be honest, I'm going to go, I'm going to go chain. I'm going to leave the beads out of it, and I am going to do these orange beads, because orange is my favorite color. It really doesn't have anything to do with anything other besides that. Get this little junk pile out of my way. And I think, do a little silver, a little transition into some silver here. And we could go this way as well. Might be better. Right? We'll transition and then we will do some silver chain. I think I am liking that. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I like it. That's going to be the idea. So I will use the stringing wire to string this together some kind of way. Like I said, I haven't got that all worked out, but these are really cute and this is basically I mean there, there's more beads left over but for the most part this will be my project um, so yeah we'll see how I feel when it comes time to put the chain on I don't know what kind of chain I don't know if I'll use multiple small chains if I'll use thick chain one thick chain multiple small chains I'm not sure but I really do like it um, all right well this has been <clears throat> The Exotic Blooms Design Challenge um, from Softlex. This is my first video, so we're going to call this an unboxing, a project, and a plan. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please make sure to do a like, make a comment, and if you have a minute, maybe share this video. Um, that would be really helpful to me. It helps me to continue to bring you content. 
Um, and I would just really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating night. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.